What's up guys, Matt Manduke here. I didn't bring my external mic, so I'm sorry if the audio isn't that great here, but, so I did this the other day on a live stream, and I enjoyed it so much that I want to come out here and do it again for you, which is the new trails on the blue side of the park, which is if you're at the Mars River Bluffs, and like I am, where I'm at, if you head off in that direction, where you can see the trail markers there. This was a very cool trail. Now the new trails that I saw on the other side, they were very cool. I liked the way you went up the stream and whatnot, but that depends on precipitation. This one had a lot of trees that were over the trail. And like I said, I tried it on a live stream the other day, but the live stream didn't go too well because it didn't come out very clear. And many of you guys who are my regular subscribers and watch everything that I make, no matter what I make, if it's a turd or not, then you saw that and you saw that it, it was kind of junky. So I'm really sorry about that, but I want to come out here and show these things again because I love these trails out here and many other people do. So you know, if you're interested in checking out the park, I have many videos out here, not all of which are particular to explaining the park like this one will be, but I want to show this to you. And for the most part, I'm not gonna talk through this video, so I, I just want you to get an idea. This is a new trail, it is a bicycle trail, but I have feet, I can walk anywhere where a bike can go. So I'm going to take that, and I'm not sure where it goes because I picked it up at the other end and I think it actually crosses the trail, so I, I made a wrong turn that's, and ended up here on the live stream. But, like I said, I'm going to turn this around, and we're just going to hike through there. All right, this is actually a spot where you can pick it up from the main trail if you didn't pick it up in the parking lot because it collides with the regular yellow or orange trail or blue or yellow trail it's the yellow trail yeah, but the other thing that i actually wanted to talk about here is i focused in on it but i know there's more around here hold on i want to focus in on something because i was curious about it myself the other day and now i actually these things these things are called burls and I've always seen them in the woods on different things but there's one on that tree one on that tree up there there's one on a tree over there which I'm sure you can see it because I can see it on the little screen and this is only a like one and a half inch but there's there's a bunch of them on that tree now what they are as I looked it up they're called burls and they are Strange growths that are, occur within the tree as the tree is growing because of either a fungal or insect infestation. Now, I'm leaning toward it being a fungal invest, infestation out here, uh, where it might be an insect infestation in other places. 
I believe the ones that actually have holes all the way through them, and there are some of them in this park, that's probably from an insect that actually chews through. Whereas in the case of these, I think that's a fungal infestation, and that's because it's particular to the kinds of trees that it is. It's not just on pine trees, but it's not on oak trees. And I've, there's a lot of different kinds of funguses that I've learned about in the woods. It causes them to grow differently and a lot of times leads to the death of the tree, but not always. In the case of like this tree over here, that tree is still alive. It may die over time, but that doesn't necessarily mean that having a burl is going to kill a tree. And what I looked up on the internet said that the largest burl is something like 36 feet across or something, but that is actually on a redwood, their form of pine, and they only grow in California, the, the sequoia tree or sequoia, yeah, sequoia tree. I'm going to go ahead and get back to the trail because, uh, well, that's what you guys are here to see. All right, now this spot is something else that I want to talk about. It's all that trash down there. That's actually from where this used to be private property. And in older times, they used to just dump their own trash on the property. But some of that stuff looks like it's from the 80s and whatnot. It's weird. But I think that where this used to be a Wheaton property, I think they used to have parties out here and just dump their shit out here rather than carry it out of the woods. I would like to get a group of people together to actually clean that stuff up. Because it'd be good for the environment, good for the, the soul, and good for the people. But that's a matter of getting people together. And, well, my subscribers, while many of you are local, a lot of you are actually all over the place. So, you know, I, I can't guarantee that. But it's a good idea if anybody else gets it or, or to take some with you whenever you get the opportunity. I usually bring a bag. But since I'm doing a video and it's almost close to dusk, I didn't bring a bag. That tree is covered in burls, like all the way up, and it may, uh, looks like it made it grow erratically. It's killed some parts, it has vines on it, that is, uh, but it's still alive for the most part. It's just, let's get closer to it because those kinds of things really affect me. This is a massive cedar tree here too. I, uh, you know, for the, for the park, it's not that it's all that big in, in its width, but just the, the sheer size of it is huge. Not compared to a sequina tree, but it is a rather large tree. Now it looks like somebody may have burnt a vine here, but that could be a fungus that makes it look that way. But just look at all the burls up there. That's, that's insane. It's bumpy everywhere. And then it's interesting because it's that tree and all the other trees around it, well, it looks like mostly cedar, don't have burls. So, and then we got this, this one here that's dead, but it's all twisty. I really get into trees and, and really a horticulture, but trees mostly because they're, they're wild on their own and they grow on their own. But look at how twisty it is just inside. That, that is wild. And I can get why people like driftwood because of that. But this vine's also kind of twisted like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get back to the trail. But I just wanted to point out some things. I, li I like split trees. I like odd trees. And I, that's part of something that I really take in when I'm on a trail is the personality of the trees that are out on the trail. Here's another piece of education. Now I understand this is a dead branch that's on the ground, but this, this branch was actually dying before it fell off the tree. It wasn't like it knock, got knocked down by being cut by a human, even though there's some fresh cuts right there, it, or that it got knocked by, down by a storm. 
even though it may have finally got knocked down that way, it was dying beforehand because pine trees, more than any other tree, put all their growth into making pine cones, which are their seeds, before they die. So if you ever see a pine tree that is full of pine cones, absolutely full, because they do still reproduce on a yearly basis, but if they're absolutely full like this one is, then it's getting ready to die and it knows that it's dying. This is actually looping upon itself where I talked about the burls. You guys already saw that and that one there. But this isn't the direction I was heading, so I'm going to, you know, keep going on it. I just want to point out how this tree they actually cut it out so you're walking through it like at the tunnel that's going to be awesome when uh, things start really growing because vines are going to cover that it's going to be it's going to be gorgeous <laughs> This area also caught my attention because it's so close in the the pine trees even though the lighting is a little lower and it seems like you could easily get lost because you probably could but the way that it's cut out it's so close together and as things grow well pine trees are interesting because they, they tend to be barren at the bottom and only grow at the top and they're very close together almost nothing else can grow in here because of the pine needles on the ground but there are some areas of the park that or like this this is one of them I also like this tree here because even though it is dying I like the way that it's just sprouting straight off of the the trunk as opposed to uh, ha how they normally do off of their branches which I, f I find very in enthusing it's a very interesting tree um, here's another one that it has a dying branch that is making one but I don't think the tree itself is dying but this here it's uh, very very entertaining and I can imagine that on, on a bike that would be very uh, it'd be kind of thrilling because they're so close together and being able to steer in such a way uh, it brings a new challenge even though this side is not very, very hilly it is still challenging in some ways now this spot is actually the road that you normally come out on in order to access the yellow and the orange trails but the bicycle portion seems to cross over and that's where I'm headed. Now because I actually did the other portion of the trail and where we're at right now is the divider to head to the other side of the park. I'm not going to do that because you guys can see that here. What I am going to do is go ahead and head into the intro sequence. So cue the sequence. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you enjoyed this, if you want to see some of my other adventures and the other things that I've done, you can check out this playlist here. Or if you want uh, YouTube to pick out a video for you because they know better than I do, you can check out this one here. Uh, as always guys, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you're into vaping and you want some high quality e-juice that is affordable, you, you can check out this website here which will lead you to a place where you can get uh, high quality e-juice for very affordable prices. See you next time.